So when did you actually split with them? Um, last year when I dropped um, "Scared to Love," that mm -hmm. completed like my contract. Okay. Cause my contract was like 18, 18 songs. Okay. And now you're totally independent. Mm -hmm. And what is that like versus being with a label from your perspective? It's cool. I fuck with being independent. Like, you know, it's all up to me. Like, I make complete control, you know? So I, I like being independent. Were they trying to have a bunch of control when you were with the label? Like, were they no, trying to... I had to... full creative control. They never gave you pre-written songs or, like, put you with songwriters or anything like that? I mean, sometimes they might suggest it. You know, they might throw me little, um, what do you call them? References. Mm -hmm. They'd be like, oh, yeah, we think you should try this. Or try that. Yeah. Because yeah. I only ever hear from the artists who get the reference tracks and don't like the reference tracks. I never really hear from the artists who get the reference tracks and love it, so they just keep doing that. But a lot of times the dudes I know who get signed, I'll hear songs, and I'll be like, you did not write that song. No, I ain't gonna lie. Like, when I was signed, like, I was so, like, caught up in, like, myself and just my talent and confident in myself. Like, I didn't want to seem stuck up, so like, I would always, like, consider it or listen, but I would, like, really just go do my own thing. Mm. You feel like... Your best stuff comes from you yeah, just from going me. off the dome. Mm -hmm. Were you ever a writer, or you just punch in every time? I punch in. Like, I mean, I ain't gonna lie. Sometimes when I'm like really down and going through some shit, I might write, but for the most part, I just punch in. Like, right. Damn. Um. So, would you say that you were depressed or like going through mental health shit throughout all this time, or like, I mean, because you, you have all the the broken heart tattoos and everything like that. Like, is that something that you deal with on a consistent basis? I mean, I did, like, I did have a time where I was, like, going through a lot. And I guess, uh, I mean, you could say depressed. I mean, I, I don't know. I don't like to say that word. But I was down, and it was hard. Mm. And tattoos was a way of me expressing myself, like, again. Like, I ain't gonna lie, there was a time where I, I really didn't even, even really like myself. I didn't want to look at myself because mm -hmm. a lot of shit that was going on in my life and the people I was losing, I was, you know, feeling like it was my fault. You feel me? You know, I was feeling like it was all my fault. So I, I it like kind of made me hate myself for a little bit. Mm. You know, so that's, I was just like, damn, near torturing myself in a sense. You know, just putting myself through that pain, getting tatted. You know, you know, but all my tattoos mean something. Like, you know, it was like I said, also a way of me expressing myself. Right. You know, deep meaning in a lot of this shit. Right, because, I mean, something extremely good happens to you, and then all this bad shit starts happening to you, and bad shit starts happening to the people around you. And even yeah, if it's bro. not, like, a super direct link, you have to feel like this is perhaps caused by the I mean, star I mean, that you are of, now. Yeah, it was, you know, a lot of direct links and a lot of non-direct links. Mm. Mm. And, I mean, the game has kind of even changed a lot since you got signed now because everybody's obsessed with fucking TikTok. You didn't get on from TikTok. You got yeah. on the old-fashioned way, which mm -hmm. is getting your fucking video on Worldstar. I mean, or, or just doing this, like, dope organic performance, content, organic. Content. Yeah. And now yeah. everything feels like it's happening online, with TikTok, shit like that. Like, do you feel like, in a way, you the game kind of, like, moved past you and it's sort of awkward trying to get back to where you were at before? No, 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 no. I wouldn't say that at all. I feel like, like I said, for a uh, point in time, I wasn't putting my all into the music shit. Like, honestly, like, I was, had a lot of other shit going on. Mm. So, you know, that's what just what was going on. You know, but I ain't never, like, lost track of, like, how the shit go. Like, not at all. Mm -hmm. Yeah, now that you're, like, Fully back making music. Well, how long do you feel like you've been back at it now? Like the past year or so? Like I said, I've always been making music, but as far as like consistently putting out music, like trying to like really put this shit out and keep going and letting people know like I'm still here, like I said, like shit, six months. And maybe. How's that if been not going? Less than that, Is it ever like frustrating because you feel like maybe the fans have moved on to different artists and shit or? Mm -mm, nah, hell no. I feel like my fans still here for sure. I still got a million monthly listeners on Spotify. You mm -hmm. feel me? Another million, some on Apple and everything else. So they, 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 like, they ain't left. Like they're just waiting on me to, like, you know, feed them. Mm. That's all they're waiting on me to feed them. But it is like a thing in rap that people are always kind of looking for like the new artist right and it's like yeah. in rap especially it's like you only get to be new once and then it's basically on you to show and prove through just making yeah. great music and grow from there facts that's what it's all about strong mm. growth definitely 
Um, okay, like, what is your relationship with G Herba? Because you had that one song where you guys uh, were dressed up as old people, right? Mm hmm. Was that the beginning of the relationship, or were you fucking with him before that? Because you said that was one of your favorite artists, too. Hell yeah. Um, shit. Our relationship began, I can't remember if it was before or after that, but it was definitely around that time. Mm -hmm. But I mean, shit, like, he cool. Like, you know, we a kid a couple times, Southside House, we kicked it one time. Feel me? Whenever we run into each other's love. Feel me? Mm -hmm. Have you ever connected with uh, Jack Harla? Yeah, yeah, me and Jack tapped in, like, shit, like, not too long, like, while he was on, like, while he was blowing up and shit, he had a song, he had a uh, show back home, I pulled up, you know, said what's up backstage, you feel me, he was there, right. STG was there, you feel me? Hey, what's it been like seeing Jack Harlow become this fucking international I ain't sensation? Lie, that, that shit been crazy, I ain't gonna lie, every time he do something new or something crazy, whether it's a song go crazy, or like, when he had the movie, you know, I hit him. Tell him that shit's dope. That shit's crazy. Keep doing what you're doing. You put on for the city. Mm. You know, I ain't gonna lie. Definitely put on for the city. That shit's crazy. I realized the shit was real. Two two incidents actually is that one time I was in Compton and some random forty year old woman asked me for my Instagram and I told her my Instagram and then as I was walking away I heard her shriek, "Oh my God, he knows Jack Harlow." <laughs> That was a weird moment for me to be like, holy shit, this lady in Compton gives a fuck about him. And then also the KFC meal. Nah, yeah, that shit was crazy. I actually don't know what is up with the KFC meal or if there's anything different about it or whatever, but. I never tried it. I just saw it on the side of the road and I was just like, oh, that's just, nah, that must nah, be a that big deal. That shit was crazy when you did that. I ain't gonna lie to you. That shit was crazy. Definitely. How well do you know ESTG? Uh, I mean, shit, like, I don't know him, I don't know him like that, like that, but we know each other. Mm -hmm. Cordial. He doing his thing too. He put on for the city too. Like, you know, he definitely put on for the city. Good guy. Um, so do you feel like the the Kentucky scene or just the Louisville scene, is it blowing up right now? Like, do you feel Hell like yeah. you started a wave or that this is like something that's really happening? Um, shit, definitely blowing up. I ain't gonna lie. Well, shit, Jack and G, shit, like I said, right before they blew up, I blew up. Before I blew up, Bryson blew up. Mm. So it's definitely music scene definitely in Louisville right now. A lot of motherfuckers tapped in. You see all the young people trying to rap now because they actually Not have everybody like, been rapping in Louisville. But they have like lie. a blueprint now of like, oh, it could, I could be like them, right? I wouldn't even say that because I ain't gonna lie. Louisville niggas is Louisville niggas, bro. Like, hmm. they still sound like Louisville niggas. You feel me? And that shit hard. Like, they need to tap in. Like, I'm waiting for another Louisville nigga to blow up and really go crazy and do their thing because there's so much talent in the city. Hmm. Like, no, but I mean, of course, there's Louisville niggas that's on their melodic shit, you know. Of course, there's Louisville niggas on their drill shit, but there's Louisville niggas that's doing all type of different music, bro. Mm. Like, shit's crazy. Like, a lot of talent. Do you ever get motivated talent. to make drill type music, or are you over that shit? No, I ain't never. <laughs> I ain't never really made no drill music. I ain't gonna lie to you. Mm. Every now and then, I ain't gonna lie. I might think of a few bars in my head. I'll be like, damn, that shit's not hard, but that shit ain't really. But you can kind of say that shit over more melodic beats. Right? Like some drill shit? I mean, the hardest line you ever thought about saying, you could probably say it over a melodic beat too, right? Yeah, I, I probably could. But that's not, like, that's just not, mm -hmm. like, the drill shit is just not really my, there's already so many people doing that. I be trying to, like, use my position and my talent to, like, you know, really make music that can have a meaning and speak to people and make people feel the type of way. Yeah, it's you know? a weird concept to be in like an expensive ass studio with a, a dope producer and then when it comes time to rap, you start thinking about your ops. It's kind of weird, right? Um, <laughs> I mean, shit work for a lot of niggas. Like, right, shit, yeah. that's what they do. Like, you know, shit, you know, there's a lot of niggas that, that work for them. That shit hard too. I listen to drill music. Mm -hmm. I listen to drill music, but I don't make it though. But I listen to drill music though. 